Sydney is one of the most expensive cities in the world, so it's not known for its cheap eats, but there are great bargains to be had. From its delicious Vietnamese bakeries to its French patisseries, we're going to show you that today. So Manly is one of the most well-known beachside suburbs of Sydney. It overlooks the Pacific Ocean. A little fun fact is that it's actually called Manly uh, for what you might think it's actually called. It's because of Manly, being Manly. And apparently the British, when they first got there, they saw the indigenous tribe that were there and they thought that they were quite manly in the way that they did things. It's famous today for its long stretch of sandy beaches and it's a fantastic place to indulge in some ice cream while you're there and also just taking in the views of the beach and the ocean. Lentil is anything in Newtown. It's a unique cafe slash restaurant which serves delicious vegetarian dishes. And it operates as a kind of pay as you feel concept. So you enjoy your meal and then as you leave, you'll pay exactly what you feel pretty much is appropriate for you. If you're coming to Sydney, then I'm sure one of your first stops will definitely be to see the famous Opera House and the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Well, if that's the case, then you'll have to make a trip to Circular Quay. It's got a great view of the famous landmarks as well as being one of the main kind of transport hubs in the city centre. Korean people often mention that Opera House looks like peeled orange. Um, you have to go to the Opera House. Of course, if you're in Sydney, it's just a must for just the look of it. It's beautiful. Built in 1973, 8 million a tourist visitor every year and you can see why it's a lovely building. So from there you'll find a lot of ferries and buses and a train station right there so it's a good way to kind of get around, um, go on adventures around Sydney, get a bit further out there. Um, and you'll also find restaurants, walkways, making it another perfect spot to do um, some of the more popular touristy things but you'll definitely love Circular Quay so definitely go there. The most beautiful McDonald's building ever you will see. That's true, that's a very beautiful. If you're looking for a budget meal in the city centre, then Mapen needs to be on your map. It's a setup a bit like a canteen, so you can choose your udon as well as add to your meal with like other little dishes like boiled eggs or fried chicken and kind of things like that. So I went for a deal where you can choose three little mini bowls and it was $9.90 so it was really really cheap. All for just 20 bucks, that's pretty good. 10 bucks each meals. So my meal actually was $3.90 and then I add it up but you know you realize that Another great place you guys have to go is the Reuben Hills Cafe in Surrey Hill. So it's got like an industrial hipster vibe, this cafe. So it's sure to impress, not just with the atmosphere, but with the, the blends of very, very good coffee. After all, they actually do roast their own coffee, like in a microbrewery on site. Love a good latte. So, I mean, this stuff will really keep you going all day with the caffeine bars. It is very, very strong. And if you like us and love nothing more than to just hang out in a cafe, sipping coffee and people watching, then definitely do yourself a favor and head to Ruben Hills. Yaki Niku Yakocho. In Regent Place, it can be, it can be an easily missed place on your trip to Sydney. Um, even though it's like off a major street, it's a very hidden little laneway. Uh, once you enter, you'll literally be transported to Japan. It's, it's like literally crossing into the Stargate and coming out the other side and you're like straight into Tokyo. It is um, quite an amazing little place and very, it very much surprised us when we first went in there because it really felt like you were in the alleyways of Japan. So there's so many choices of fantastic Japanese e eateries in Regent Place. Uh, we chose to go to Yaku Niku Yakocho which sounds really cool and it is really cool. We waited, we waited, it was well worth it because once we got inside, we were not disappointed. Um, we had delicious Japanese barbecue, meat served like straight off the grill, uh, your own little personal grill there. And it honestly felt like we were back in Japan, like with self-service touchscreen as well too, we can um, choose to order a lot of different meals, which we ordered a pint 
of Japanese beer and a few other little things too. So it's a perfect night out in Sydney and I will definitely put it high up on my list of places to go. You guys will absolutely love it. Another great place to go, of course, is Darling Harbour, another very popular place in Sydney. And Governor Darling of New South Wales in the 1800s actually named the harbour after himself, if you can believe it. So, um, And it's changed a lot since those days. And today it's a very popular touristy spot with many restaurants that lie along the harbour. And it's also a really good spot to take some photos or head to Harbour Town Shopping Centre. So it's another place that you have to have on your list and I'm sure you'll head there when you're in Sydney. Another great place to go to is the seafood market, the Sydney seafood market. To be honest, seafood, it's not my favourite by any means. Um, however, this place really surprised me uh, when we went for a visit. Oh, welcome to the Drunken Bay. Welcome to Sydney Fish Market. It's another great thing to do while here in Sydney. So we're going to check out the freshest of the fresh seafood. It's the largest market of its kind in the Southern Hemisphere. And so there's plenty to see and eat. There's actually so much to eat. It's not just seafood. So if you're like me and you're not really that much into seafood, there's a lot of really yummy kind of artisan sweets. Uh, deli meats and stuff like that, some good craft beer, so there's a lot to do here. While I'm waiting for barbecue salmon, I love oysters so much. I'm waiting for my second round. Oh, the oyster was so good. I love it. Personally, my favorite seafood to have is salmon. Um, and man, did I have the best grilled salmon of my life here at the markets. This is what a fish market's all about. You've got your chewies, you've got the delicious seafood, and you just sit down and just enjoy it. So it was really cheap, it was just three different types of seafood, skewers, for 10 bucks. So you could choose which ones, we went for two salmon, one tuna. There was also octopus, scallops, um, different kind of, I think abalone, so a bit of everything. Mm. Mm. So yummy. Oh, that <gasps> I really want that, I was thinking about it. Um, along with an ice cold beer, it was a fantastic day. Fun and food at the Sydney Fish Market. Absolutely loved it. It's a great place to just wander around, have a look at all the fresh seafood, and of course pick some up for later as well too. So definitely highly recommend the Sydney Fish Market. It's one of the surprising places that I'm sure you'll really, really love when you're there. Every time I'm down in Sydney, I definitely always have the rocks on my list as one of the first places to go because I really love it down there. On the weekends, you also have markets with over 200 stalls, lots of different food to choose from, of course, when you're there. Start it slow, like a tree grows out in the open. These things never the natural surrounds mixed with a more European style architecture makes it a pretty great place to walk around, taking in sights and and the sounds of Sydney. We also got some amazing French food, which we found in a lovely little cafe. Um, there's also plenty of old pubs in the area, seeing as the Rocks was one of the first settlements of the British when they came ashore. So you can definitely see a lot of interesting things. Got a really great vibe at the Rocks. My one. Brown sugar latte with pearls, but I've had that too. I'll on milk tea. Cream, cream I'm having black milk tea with a creme brulee with pearl. Is that possible? That is everything is possible. I can't decide which one to have. It all sounds so delicious. It, but we've been passing by this place every day almost since we've been in Sydney and there's always been a massive line so we just curiosity got the best of us and so now we've got to try it. Every time we passed Machi Machi, there was an absolutely massive line outside. So it definitely um, was on our radar. So be prepared to wait a little bit um, in the line, but it's definitely worth the wait. They have a very unique blend of milk tea. Uh, we tried their creme brulee milk tea with pearls and it was, 
Oh my god, absolutely magical. It was delicious. For our first machi machi, uh, we were told you got to stir it. We got the creme brulee, but we also got bonus pearls as well too. So, so exciting. I don't know how we're supposed to stir it to be honest. Mm. It's very nice. You can taste the caramelized um, creme brulee. It's really good. Bondi Beach, uh, I'm sure you're gonna go to Bondi Beach. It's arguably Australia's most famous and recognizable beach. Um, also make sure to head up to the Bondi Bath swimming pool as well too, because that overlooks the beach and it's just beautiful. You can take some really lovely photos and also go for a swim there too. Just finished a quick swim at Bondi Beach. It's so lovely, the sand is so soft. The water, so nice. It's not absolutely freezing like it can be down in Melbourne. So that's a win for Sydney. Exciting. Okay, let's try this bum me and see if it's as good as they say. Which one doesn't have um coriander? Coriander. This one I think is got no coriander. This one looks like there's coriander coming out of it. My roll is a barbecue pork roll. You got plenty of coriander in here. It's your typical Vietnamese roll. Bread. Bun, if you will. It's very Hard, always crunchy, always crunchy, the, the bar meat. Mm. My first thought is the juiciness. Sometimes you don't get a very juicy bar meat, but this one's nice and juicy. Mm. This may be the best bar meat in Sydney. You know How much was it? Eight this bucks? So my one's only six bucks, I think. And then Rachel's one's eight dollars ninety, something like that. Pork crackling without coriander. That is mine. And look at how full this is, crazy. It's got just everything, like spring onion coming out. What I love the most about Bami is a hint of chili. Hint of spiciness. It's so good. Just eight bucks. I mean this one is six dollars. It's incredible because that's like if there's anyone who has lived in Sydney or knows a little bit of the cost of living in Sydney, it's extremely cheap. Like so good, I can have this every day. The Strand Arcade, it's one of those um, beautiful Victorian buildings in Sydney and it's a great place to go for some retail shopping. So there's a lot of shops there. They're mainly boutique shops. Um, so you can find some pretty interesting things, pretty unique things. Uh, for me, I just love the detail and the architecture. It's a really great place for photos. Um, it was built in the 1890s. So this arcade has lasted well over a century and it's still, a really popular place to go for for tourists and for locals as well to have a little shop around and maybe some high tea so not a lot has changed people shopped back then and they're still shopping there now today head on down to Newtown which is a suburb in Sydney's inner west it's a hub for hipsters and there's plenty of pubs bars cafes and heaps of street art all over the place You'll also find heaps of vintage stores for fashion, op shops, and record stores. There's some great places to eat too, like Burke Street Bakery, where we sat down for a latte and a delicious almond croissant. Next up, we've got Paddy's Hay Market, and it's a busy market in the center of town. It's a fun place to just walk through the aisles, pick up a few souvenirs. Uh, it's, very, it's a very affordable market too, with prices that are very reasonable and it's got a massive range of products from fashion to art and accessories, souvenirs of all kinds. So of course it wouldn't be a market without fresh fruit and vegetables too. So there's, there's plenty of that, plenty of takeaway food as well. Hyde Park is located in the CBD and it's a lovely heritage listed park, perfect for having a relaxing walk away from the hustle and bustle of the CBD. It's also where you'll find St. Mary's Cathedral, which is a popular landmark visited by tourists and also by many newlyweds taking photos. 
There's beautiful areas all around the park to explore, so definitely make sure to check it out. And that's a wrap from us. So the next time you're in Sydney, make sure to have a Tui's new for us.